Hey, it's Eugene here. So in this video today, I want to talk about sleep. So a lot of you have asked me about you no know, like sleeping problems, sleeping troubles, and um, of course we just launched the O'Kelly Nature Cuddly Dream Sleep Supplement. Uh, but I think this is a topic that I feel really personal about because I used to have problems sleeping. Right? I used to take like hours before I go to bed, and, and sometimes even now, like once in a while, I find that I fall into that state um, if I'm too stressed or if I'm thinking too much. So in today's video, I will take you through a few tips to find out how you can learn to train your brain to sleep better so you wake up feeling healthy. So as peaceful as sleep sounds, for some people, going to bed can be the preview of a nightmare. And as soon as it's time to sleep, your brain starts its own race of thoughts. And each thought springs things faster like than the first. It's almost like a car race, and as soon as one takes off, um, the other one comes charging behind. So your brain starts turning this ever-ending thought into a habit. And you notice that you don't get enough sleep the next day, and then this vicious cycle starts to happen all over again. Uh, unfortunately, there is no snooze button you can press to shut down your brain at bedtime. But luckily, there is a bypass where right? you can train your brain to think to allow you to sleep better and deeper. Once you can mentally instruct your mind, quality nights rest follows. I know how frustrating sleepless nights can be, so to make things easier, I'll teach you some techniques you can use to train your brain and finally get the quality night rest you've been craving for. So let's dive in. Uh, tip number one is to sleep in the dark because your sleep cycle is governed by the circadian rhythm which keeps you in sync with nature through light. And if you're having problems falling asleep, check your room for any source of light pollution and that means no mobile phones or charging ports that can potentially give up light. So if windows are your problem, make sure you get full blackout curtains. Then when you wake up in the morning, immediately flood your bedroom with natural light. I find it most helpful and useful to get out of the house or maybe stand by a window immediately after waking up. Now next is to tell your mind that sleep is essential. So one reason why many people cannot fall asleep is because they haven't recognized the importance of sleep to a healthy mind, right? So usually when a major project comes up, uh, sleep is the first thing that we give up, especially if you're low on time. However, the lesser you sleep, and the more it affects your mood, the more it affects your health, and the more it affects your well-being. So lack of sleep doesn't only contribute to the, like, the morning mood swings, it also puts you at risk for health issues like diabetes, anxiety, and heart diseases. Uh, and once you mentally register that the significance of good sleep, you realize that your brain stops viewing sleep as a chore, so you can sleep a lot better and faster. So the next thing you want to do is to maintain a regular sleep schedule and a few years ago I usually stayed up as late as I wanted and on weekends I would sleep through to the afternoon. I noticed that sometimes I wake up in the day feeling full of energy but then sometimes I feel like I'm tired, disoriented, brain fog and I came to discover that my brain wasn't used to my sleeping routine. How could I because I didn't have a schedule? And most of the time when I finally decided to hit the sack, my brain would leave me with thoughts that would keep me awake. So the next thing to do is to think positive thoughts because no matter how hard you try, some thoughts just keep coming and as soon as your head hits the pillow, the unattractive thought starts popping up and you must start to remember about the first time you embarrassed yourself at a party or something like that. So instead of lying, laying awake worrying, you can picture happy memories because that is definitely much healthier than thinking of bad thoughts. Um, and then next is to remember to meditate. You know, so if you're meditating, great for you, but if you're not, meditating before you go to bed helps to reassure your brain that you're at ease. It can be as simple as breathing in and breathing out deeply for a few minutes. You feel relaxed, it stimulates your brain to release endorphins, and it also helps to reduce the inflow of thoughts and gently train your mind to relax and rest. Now, exercising regularly can be a significant factor if you're not getting enough sleep. So exercise prolongs the amount of time you spend in deep sleep and plays a part in you know, reducing anxiety. So I recommend that you try a few simple workout routines or doing some light stretching. But whatever exercise you choose to do, make sure you do that at least a few hours before you sleep. And that is really important. You do not want to exercise immediately before you go to bed. 
makes you want to write down your thoughts. Uh, the human mind will always hover around problems and sometimes no matter how hard you try, some thoughts will tend to creep in and keep you awake. And you know, the best way to let out of the stubborn thoughts is to write them down. Uh, you can use a pen or a paper or you can use your phone, but whatever thoughts that you have that's keeping you awake, be it family issues, you no know, issues at work or your business or projects, so instead of thinking about it, write it down. The next tip is to avoid active activities in bed. So bringing work home is never a great idea and it's even more damaging to you if you bring your work to your bed. Now you need to instruct your brain to fall asleep whenever you put your head on the pillow. So get rid of the phone, stop watching Netflix or avoid any other activities that can distract you from sleeping immediately. Now, sex can be an exception, right? having an orgasm before sleep can help you by releasing feel-good hormones to convince your brain that you are in a safe and relaxed space. For women, orgasms not only help you sleep quicker, it also induces a deeper sense of sleep. However, sometimes some people feel more active after sex. Then, If that's the case, then you can have your sex during the day uh, or have it somewhere else in the bedroom, but not on your bed. So like our fingerprints, you know, each human being is different. Uh, some people feel more energized after 9 hours of sleep, some people only take 7. Regardless of what group you belong to, uh, sleeping healthy doesn't have to be an impossible feat. You just need to change your mindset and with the tips I've given you before, hopefully that's going to help you to sleep better and sleep healthier in no time. So those are my sleep tips for today and if you find that those tips are helpful to you, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.